In order to get the most out of our YouTube account, there are some advanced settings that we can configure which will allow us to use all of the features available to us here on YouTube. Let's take a look at where we can enable some of these features and configure some of the settings. From the Creator Studio dashboard, I'm going to navigate to the left side of the screen and click on the channel link. On the page that appears, there are a couple things that we want to take a look at. First of all, at the very top, we have the opportunity to verify our account. It only takes a few minutes if you click on the Verify button. To verify your YouTube account, YouTube will either send you a text message or they'll give you a phone call, and you just have to verify the number that they text you or that they say to you on the phone call. Once you've verified your account, there are some additional features that will be available to you here on YouTube. If we go back to the previous page, some of the features that will now be available to you after verification are the ability to host live events here on YouTube. So you can actually record a video live and let your viewers watch it in real time, but you have to verify your account first. Another feature that will be enabled will be content ID appeals. So once you start using YouTube and you have some videos that are uploaded, there may be situations where people actually steal your content and re-upload a video that you've done. If people are doing that with your videos, you're going to want to file a content ID appeal to let YouTube know that, hey, this is my content and somebody else is using it and trying to make money off of it. But in order to submit that content ID appeal, you have to have a verified YouTube account. There's another section here on YouTube where we have some more advanced settings to configure. And to access those settings, I'm going to navigate to the left side of my screen under the channel section, and I'm going to click on advanced. In these advanced channel settings, the first area that we can configure is our channel keywords. And this is really important for search engine optimization because if people are searching for terms related to the content on your channel, you want your YouTube channel to show up in those search results. So enter a few keywords here. You can separate them by a comma that relate to your channel and the type of content that you're going to be posting on your channel. So for our Landon Hotel channel, we can enter some keywords such as hotels, lodging, travel, and tourism. If we scroll down this page, we have a few other options, and you can decide whether or not you want to change those. First of all, we have the option to allow advertisements to be displayed alongside our videos, or we can disable advertisements. If you're using YouTube for monetization, obviously you want to leave that as is and allow all of those advertisements to be shown on your videos. You can also link your Google AdWords account to your YouTube account. Linking an AdWords account will allow you to actually advertise your videos on YouTube. So if you have an AdWords account and you're familiar with how it works, go ahead and click the button here to link it to your YouTube account. We can also add an associated website here on YouTube, which is really important because when we start talking about adding links inside of our videos through annotations, the only links we'll be able to add are links that go to our associated website. So if you have a blog or website, go ahead and enter the web address right here. I'll go ahead and enter landonhotel.com and then click add. Once we add that website, YouTube lets us know that in order to associate this site with our YouTube account, we have to verify that we own this website, which you can do by clicking on the blue verify link. It's going to ask us to enter our password again. And Google now gives us a couple of different options of how we can verify our website to link it to YouTube. We could simply download this HTML file and then upload it to our website. Once we do that, we can click on the red verify button down here at the bottom and YouTube will automatically be able to see that we own the website that we've associated with our YouTube account. If you have trouble with this step, you might want to contact the person that manages your website because they should be able to easily upload this HTML verification file to your blog or website. I'm going to go back now to the advanced settings here on YouTube. Down at the bottom, we have a few more settings that we can configure. First of all, we can allow our channel to appear in other channels recommendations, which means a user might be watching a video on another YouTube channel that's related to our YouTube channel. So for the Landon Hotel channel, somebody might be watching a video about travel, tourism, about another hotel, and on the right side of their screen, the Landon Hotel YouTube channel might appear as a recommendation for that viewer. I think it's a great idea to allow your channel to appear in other channels recommendations because it's just gonna increase your viewership and hopefully lead to more subscribers, revenue, and enhance your marketing efforts. We also have the option to display how many people are subscribed to our YouTube channel for people viewing our channel on YouTube. This is up to you. I think that maybe in the beginning when you first launch your YouTube channel and you don't have that many subscribers, it may be a good idea to not display the number of people subscribed to your channel so that when a viewer comes to your channel, 
they don't see, oh, this person only has four subscribers. Well, it's probably not a good channel. I'm not going to subscribe. When in reality, it might be a great channel. It just hasn't been around long enough to gain those high subscriber counts. Once you gain a good number of subscribers, maybe 100 or more, you can then come back in here and display the number of people subscribed to your channel so that when viewers come to your channel, they say, oh, wow, this YouTube channel already has 100 subscribers or 1,000 subscribers. There must be valuable content here. I'm going to go ahead and subscribe. The last setting that we can configure down here at the bottom is we can actually add our Google Analytics account ID. So if you use Google Analytics for your blog or website to track your visitors, where they're coming from, how much traffic you're getting, you can go ahead and enter your Google Analytics account ID down here. And then in Google Analytics, you'll be able to see some detailed information about the people that are visiting your YouTube channel as well as your blog or website. So once you've got your channel set up, you've uploaded a few videos, have your channel art and thumbnail image uploaded, it's a good idea to come in here to the advanced YouTube settings to add keywords for your channel to increase your search engine optimization and then configure these other settings. Make sure that your associated website is linked to your YouTube account so that you can add links within your videos and make sure that your channel is allowed to appear in other channels recommendations on YouTube to increase your viewership.